guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm out at Exmoor. I'm at a place called Nutcombe Bottom. Uh, as you can see, all around, huge trees. Uh, 10 mile loop today, got a few cool descents, and then possibly a third where I'm gonna smash my way through a load of ferns, but it's been over a year since I last rode this, so I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be like. Anyway, we've gotta go up that fire road. See you at the top. We have made it to our first trail. So we have had a little bit of rain the last couple of days, so this could well be super slick and greasy. But at the moment, it just feels amazing. Oh. So nice. Oh, almost lost the front end then. <laughs> oh. Oh, this trail is lovely. Oh. It's so loose though. Oh. Over that big old route. Oh. Had to get a foot out then. Can't see through these trees. Now this isn't cool. This shouldn't be done. Trapping trails. Coming from this line. Why do people do it? It's disgusting. Let's get rid of these. It's not the Forest Commission, I know that much. Oh, that's a very off camber then. Oh, slippy. Lovely job. Oh, that's great fun. So going back to the uh, logs laid across that trail just now. There is a really cool Instagram account called Stop Trapping Our Trails. I'll link it down here on Instagram. Uh, it's a worldwide thing. And there seems to be a lot of hatred towards mountain bikers, usually by walkers, um, putting things in the way. So for a walker, it's not too much of a problem to get over. Cyclist comes around the corner. It can be a bit harder if you're not expecting something on a trail that you've ridden countless times. There is absolutely no need for it. It's just walkers being grumpy. Could be other users, but from experience, usually walkers. Anyway, enough doom and gloom. Up to my next trail. See you at the top. Second descent. Here we go. Woo! 
It's just good fun, this. Take the high line here, because it goes... Oh, scandy flick. <laughs> oh, this is great. Go wide. Oh, those ball things are slippy. Right. So remember this got quite off camber in places. Avoid the trees, don't want to get taken up by them. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Do not want to be taken out there. Woohee! Keep the speed under control. There's plenty of trees here that will take me out. Almost took myself out then. <laughs> take the high line. There we go. Now I can have a bit of speed. Another tree down. Seen a lot of that today. Water. Right. I've got to go down there. The problem is, it gets extremely wet. So, apologies if there's suddenly no footage. But it's probably because you can't see anything anyway. Oh, it's like a riverbed down here. I'm already soaked. <laughs> it's so wet, it's not even funny. But it's a bit funny. Should have brought some glasses with me. So it's going in my eyes. Ooh. This is great fun. Oh, look at all that. Avoid those nettles. And that's it done. Probably the muddiest trail out here. If you like the videos, guys, please consider subscribing, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. It's all good for me. Just lets me know that people are still interested, people are enjoying the videos. And I'll keep making them because I quite enjoy it. Anyway, just finished the second descent. I'm now going to head right the way over to another one that could possibly just be all ferns so we'll <laughs> we'll see how that goes so i had made it to the other descent but it was as i thought all ferns so overgrown so i'm not even going to attempt it does mean i'm going to cut the route a little bit short though it's going to end up going down to the final descent which will be coming up next see you at the start Oh, descent, I'm pretty sure it just cuts up to the right here. Yep, through here. Nice. Little bit of flowy single track. Not sure where any of this is going. Whoa. That could definitely pose a few issues to someone. Mostly me if I got my line wrong then. Oh, taking all the low line. Okay, now I'm on a real off camber bit. Oh, took my helmet out. Oh, more ferns. 
Not ideal. My four fingers have got a fern on me. Just going wide. Get rid of the fern. Oh, one gear. Oh. Well. That seems to have scuppered my plans a bit. So I've just had to fight my way through all of that. Come back out here. That's annoying, isn't it? But. Oh, it's windy. Aside from the wind, it's really nice out here. Lovely views. You got Dunster Castle over there. Old, old castle, obviously. And then just beyond that hill, got all of Dunster Village, which is lovely. Windy! Speed duck! Thank you. All right, that's everything from me, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave a link to the Strava in the description below. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.